There are so many personality types in the world, and they all excel in different ways. In fact, there are some personality types that are considered to be naturally smarter than the rest. But how do you pick which are the smartest of them all, when we all carry our own specialities? Welcome back, Cycles! Today, we'll be talking about the five most intelligent personality types, what makes them so smart, what do they excel at, and if you're not one of these types, what can you emulate to enhance your own natural smartness? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, as well as click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. With that said, let's get right into the video, starting with number 5. INFJ the INFJ inherent empathy, introspection, and understanding of others gives them a natural edge in careers that beg for existential thinking, such as psychology or philosophy. INFJs don't just learn for themselves, they care about others around them, which makes it easier to understand social dynamics and enhance their communication as well, if they're feeling sociable, that is. When many other personality types would just be having fun and living in the moment, the INFJ is likely to still be thoughtful and subconsciously observant, which gives them a quiet strength and understanding. Based on their most dominant introverted intuition function, the INFJ seems to know things without exactly knowing how they know them. This internal observation and occasional monologue can also work against them, however, as it's easier for the INFJ to get into a mental feedback loop, which hampers their ability to absorb more information. For this reason, it may not be as quick-witted as a bolder personality type that's comfortable with intensity and faster-paced environments and situations. The INFJ is in its element when it has time to plan, evaluate, and direct other types that respect its bigger picture understanding, but which are more go-getter personalities. Number 4. INFP Like other personality types on this list, INFPs can store a tremendous amount of information in their brains without forgetting it. While they're prone to be sensitive like the INFJ, they tend to outweigh that by being more analytical in their thinking and less emotional. An INFP, for example, would be a good commander in the military because they care about their soldiers, but can also make the plans that the INFJ could be too thoughtful and considerate to seriously put forward for their caring of the soldiers under their command. This personality balance allows them to maintain a good understanding of social dynamics and consideration for the other side while also being open to more logical, fact-based courses of action. The combination of seeing the bigger picture while maintaining a general, more stable mind allows them to react quicker and function more effectively in an active environment than particularly introverted personality types. They're also less stubborn and egotistical than some of the types that could potentially be considered smarter in their own right, but whose arrogance might outweigh that advantage. This allows the INFP to be sort of a blank slate that can become whatever is necessary as desired. Number 3. The INTP Possessing similar strengths to the INFP in terms of their ability to absorb and recall what they learn, INTPs can store so much information it's ridiculous. But they aren't just parrots of facts, they generally have a great number of ideas as well. This gives them the big picture ideas of, say, the INFJ, but without the potential weaknesses of being too sensitive to consider harsher, more logical ideas, facts, and plans. This cancelling out of emotion is what gives them an edge in intelligence over the more emotional personality types, as it allows their brain to come before their heart, so to speak. Their only real drawback comes in terms of their initiative and phrasing. The ability to plan and understand is ultimately useless if one either can't act on it themselves or has no other, more action-focused personality types to aid them. And here, the INTP stumbles. They fulfill a similar role to the INFJ in that regard, while perhaps making a better general than a commander. They can make some of the most sensible plans and tell you what has to happen, but ultimately someone else who pulls the trigger will beat them to the punch if there's no one to handle the short-term situation. They also lack the concise thinking and action of some other types, which makes their thinking needlessly involved and can spawn more fluff than is necessary. 
This is the person who tells you too many details when explaining a story, but their ability to cancel out emotions is still invaluable when it comes to cutting wasted time or avoiding the debilitating judgment cloud side effects of more emotional types. Number 2. ENTP The ENTP has the same kinds of strengths as several other intelligent personality types. They are big idea people, and they can remember a lot of information, which helps with bouncing around related concepts in their minds. This gives this thinking type some more strengths as well, such as planning out their approaches to things and making connections between various subjects. But where they excel compared to other more introverted personality types is that they also outlet it, trying to change things by using and implementing that information. This immediately gives them a leg up in situations that require not just a big strategy or game plan, but someone who executes it as well. This crucial difference from the more introverted planner and dwelling type personalities means that their initiative will win out over these types almost every time. It makes them less dependent on the support and action of other baser intelligence types, which also leads to fewer moving parts to misinterpret their intentions. It also gives them a strength of personality that leads to confident decisions that emulate the INTPs, but with a greater urgency that outpaces their strictly logical, methodical pace. Additionally, this confidence will make them test and consider more possibilities than the sensitive or strictly logical times because the ENTP will dare to experiment, even when it's unsure of the data or outcome. While this might seem like more of a drawback, and it occasionally is, the ENTP has the capacity for retaining information and planning that helps hedge its bets, so to speak, versus personality types that will experiment all day without a purpose or regard for its overall impact in the big picture. And number 1. INTJ INTJs are extremely skilled when it comes to information, whether it's storing the knowledge or understanding how to use it in the bigger picture, which they often understand better than anyone else. Similarly to the ENTP and the INTJ waste no time in getting things done and no one else knows the world better than them. In this way, they benefit from all the other benefits of the other most intelligent types in terms of planning, understanding, concept connecting and logical actions. Their unique balance of logic and initiative also allows them to overcome the potential weakness of both introverted and extroverted types, because they're neither compelled to draw energy nor influence others like the ENTP is, nor hamstrung by purely logical decisions like the less active INTP. They also can completely cut out time-wasting emotional reactions and see the potential unpleasant and inconvenient logic in a situation. This is what allows them to see the world as it is rather than how they would like it to be, which ironically gives them a better chance at changing things to reflect their preferred outcome. INTJs also naturally keep to themselves, allowing them to maintain the advantage that their all-seeing eyes would naturally grant them. Of course, it's also possible due to their cold-blooded level of perception and fearless action-taking to become a charismatic leader if they so choose. And unlike more extroverted personalities that need social interaction or to feel validated by influencing others, INTJs chooses to associate, assist and direct others from a higher, detached viewpoint that doesn't waste as much time, doesn't focus on arbitrary goals to feel successful, and ultimately gives them more control over a situation. The one thing that can hold back an INTJ in this regard is, ironically, their own emotional distance and lack of hesitation. An INTJ will understand their actions and plans affect others only in so far as cause and effect. They may understand people's motivations, but their lack of allowing themselves to dwell on the emotions leads to a disconnect that can affect their ability to truly understand others. So, as you can see, while each of the five most intelligent personality types have their own strengths, it's ultimately a revolving wheel of whose strengths best serve the situation. Are you one of these personality types? And if not, what aspects of their personalities do you think you can adapt to reflect that intelligence? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, psychos.